and the replacement one, instead of being brass, is plastic, so it will not fuse like this. So once you replace it, you're not gonna run into the same problem later. Should come out with just the regular tools. years build up worth of shit in it. Yeah, it is. It is. <coughs> Are you taping this up? Yeah. I figure if it's fucking us up. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I'm putting some of this on anyway. Yeah, hell yeah. I know this is the old stuff, so it's good. It didn't have all the yeah. <laughs> bullshit. Is it? It's all the, it's not the CA free stuff, the California legal. <laughs> exactly. It'll probably make you glow in the dark. But. Use a new tool that comes with it. Stick it in. I'm just trying to work it in a little bit. Make sure that's all the way back in. Okay, so I had to get a file, the file down the back of the valve. Don't automatically jump to that. You need to make sure it's clean in here. For me, we cleaned this thing out. It's clean, but I could not get the clip in. And I found out between the brass and then the newer 1225, there is a dimensional change. So I had to file down the back of this valve to be able to get that clip to fit. Okay, so I got the new valve in. So when it's in there, man, the clip goes right in, but I could not, for the life of me, get, of course I pulled it out and it's just a little bit tight around the sides there. It's not a big deal. Shouldn't be, okay, there we go. Anyway, so, all right, so the new valve, this is a replacement cartridge. Now, I had read online if you can't get the clip in, if you have an older model with a brass insert, which this one did, then you should file off the back half of the boss back here. Now, as you can see, this one has no rubber on it. I pulled the O-rings out, I pulled all the rubber off of it, still couldn't get it to fit. And what I found out is that there is a dimensional difference between here and here versus the O-ring. So one side is completely flat. Let me get my arm out of the way. So one side's completely flat, it's fine. The other side is actually raised up about a millimeter or a half a millimeter, not much at all. So because I had filed off everything in the back, I knew it was in the back, I went to go get a replacement one just so I could start fresh because I filed off so much of the back of it. I went and took my new one and I filed it down on the, on the side that was large. You can see where I attempted on this one, but I was so mad that I filed off the back. I was like, screw it, I don't want to have to deal with this, no problems. But I filed off right around here. I just went around it just like this over and over and over again. And it slid right in, fully seated, good to go. But man, absolutely frustrating. But I think it's because this is an older brass housing and the tolerances are so much different than the newer ones.